Happy New Year. The year that everyone has hated is almost over. 2020 has been referred to as the worst year yet. But was this not a year that we needed? Now, I'm not referring to the 1.6 million deaths worldwide due to COVID or the millions that were infected. But we were able to get a glimpse of America's true colors. The selfishness of people to disobey the rules to slow down the spread of COVID is baffling. This virus shut down the whole world, and we couldn't follow the simple protocols. No huge gatherings. Stay six feet apart. Wear a mask. And we couldn't do it for what? We didn't want to feel like sheep. We didn't believe in the virus. We wanted to do what we wanted to do. Those type of people were selfish, inconsiderate, and ignorant. You cared about your wants more than infecting someone else directly or indirectly. Over 300,000 deaths in this country due to COVID and even millions more affected. This is a prime example of individualism over collectivism here in this country where the threat of killing someone could not even make some wear a mask. Now, the racial tension in this country was brought in the front to everyone's eyes. The racial injustice, the disparity, is more than a black and white thing. It's everything in between. Native American, Middle Eastern, Asian, Latin American, Hispanic, and so much more. But I'm not going to talk about the unjust treatment towards black people or the George Floyd case, the Breonna Taylor, or the Ahmaud Aubrey. Did you know that there was an increase in attacks towards Asian people this year? Yes, Asians in America were harassed, threatened, attacked, burned, and more in this country due to the China virus. Asian Americans who do not live in China, have not lived in China, have never been to, or who are not even Chinese, were attacked because of what they look like or because people were racially motivated and felt racially safe to attempt to murder them. Sounds familiar? But weren't there kids in cages this year? Now, I am not in support of the cages and definitely not the inhumane treatment that was going on. But I am pretty sure that there are more people here illegally than just Hispanics and Latin Americans. But those are the only type of people I've seen in those cages. The racial injustice in this country is the backbone of this country. And it was brought to the forefront for all of us to see this year. Now, we were all captivated by the horrific case of Vanessa Guillaume. I'm sorry, private first class, soon to be specialist, Vanessa Guillaume. She was in the army at the base Fort Hood where she was harassed and is soon murdered. And it is a shame to say that it took her death and national attention for the army to finally address the sexual assault culture at Fort Hood. Her death has led to five other murdered victims around that base to be found. And her story of being sexually assaulted is one of many for females and males in the military. There was an outpour of people who could relate to her hardships in the military. North of 20,000 reported cases of sexual assault in the military in 2018, and that number increased in 2019. There was an outpour of support for her family as they finally found the truth. And there was an outrage towards the army that finally led to 14 high-ranking officials being dismissed or suspended. There has been some actions taken at Fort Hood that I hope to see more of, but not only at that base and not only in the army, but in all of the military branches. Vanessa Guillaume. Daughter, sister, loved one, friend, angel, face of change.
Coming into year 2020, we wanted 2020 vision. And that's exactly what we got. We were able to get a glimpse of what America's true colors are. And I am not bashing the country or hating the country for fun. But when you love something, and I love this country, you try to fix it. And that is what we need to do heading into 2021 and for the rest of this decade. If we have learned anything this year, it is two things. We have lost so many people. So many people due to virus or not the virus. So many celebrities. We are not here on this earth to hurt each other and to hate each other, but to love each other. And we need to keep loving each other because someone could be gone in an instant just like that. Secondly, I have only addressed three of the many issues this country faces. And I barely touched the surface. There's so many problems we have to fix in this country, and we should be ready to do that. So we can make this country the best country I know we all believe it can be. Right? So let's do it. Happy New Year.